A very good morning to Dr. Lee Hong Kiong. My name is Joe Chan Gan Siang Sun from Section 3. Today, I'm going to present my report for integration for half cylinder lock. This is my table of content, which include introduction, technical and theory, calculation, validation and discussion, conclusion and reference. In my introduction, I've included introduction of calculus and introduction of integral. Basically, my introduction of calculus talk about who is the developer of calculus, what is the function of calculus in our real life, and how we will apply in engineering work. As for my introduction of integral, I've explained about double integral and triple integral, and what is the difference between double integral and triple integral. Double integral is to find the area of the region, whereas triple integral is to find the volume of the solid. For the above equation is the equation for area which is used for double integral. As for the below equation is to find is to find the volume of the solid. As for my technical and theory, I've included polar coordinate, cylindrical coordinate, and spherical coordinate. Polar coordinate is a two-dimensional coordinate system which include radius and theta instead of x and y. As for cylindrical coordinate, it has almost the same variable as polar coordinate, but with an additional of z. Spherical coordinate is a three-dimensional coordinate system, which have three variables and have totally different from cylindrical coordinate. The three variables are phi, rho, and theta. As for my calculation, I have decided to break the half cylinder log into five components, which is two cylinder, one sphere, and the hemisphere, and one ellipsoid. As for my first calculation, which is this cylinder, it has a height of five centimeter and a radius of square root 1.35. Above are the equation that are set to find the volume of the solid cylinder. This is to set the limit so that I can find the volume of cylinder accurately. As for the area, I use polar coordinate to find the area of the cylinder which is had a radius of square root 1.35. Above are the calculations that are needed to set for the limit to find the area of the cylinder. As for the second calculation of cylinder, which is this component, it has a height of 3 cm and a radius of square root 0 0.9 cm. Above are the equations that are set to find the volume of the solid cylinder. For this cylinder, I have decided to use cylindrical coordinate to find the volume of the solid cylinder. As for the calculation for area cylinder, it had a radius of square root 0 0.9 cm, which is this. I set the limit to find the area of the cylinder by using polar coordinate system. As for calculation for volume ellipsoid, which is this component, I decided to use cylindrical coordinate system to find the area of the volume solid. It has a height of 1.6 cm and a radius of square root 3.75 cm, which is this, where I decided to use it to find the, air, the volume of the solid ellipsoid. As for the area of this ellipsoid, I decided to use polar coordinate to find the area of the ellipsoid where I set the radius of square root 
to find the limit of the ellipsoid so that I can get the area accurately. Where this calculation, I decided to use polar coordinate calculation. As for the volume of hemisphere, which is this side, as for this calculation, I decided to use cylindrical coordinate to find the volume of the solid, which is this. Due to it is going inside, therefore I set a negative volume hemisphere to minus the surface of a eh, the sphere to get an accurate reading for the volume for this sphere. Above highlight is the limit that I set to find the air, the volume of the hemisphere. As for the area of hemisphere, I decided to use a polar coordinate to find the area of the hemisphere by setting a radius of square root 2 to as the limit to find the area accurately. As for the volume of this sphere, I decided to use spherical coordinate to find the volume of this sphere by finding the phi, the rho, and theta to set as the limit to find the volume of this solid. Above highlight is the equation that I've set to find the volume of the solid as the limit to find the volume of the solid accurately. As for the area of this sphere, I decided to use polar coordinate to find the area of this sphere. Above are the limit A, are the limit and the equation I set to find the area of the sphere. Most of my calculation for the area is polar coordinate due to most of the component that I've set or I've built normally is circular shape. Therefore, I think that polar coordinate is much more suitable to be used to find the area of the shape. As for the volume and area of the half cylinder, which the total volume of the half cylinder lock, which is 21.62 pi cm cube, and for the total area of the half cylinder lock is 6.4 pi cm cube. For validation, I decided to use water displacement method, which is to find the proper or the total volume of this plasticine compared to my calculation. First, I will measure the width, height, and length of a container which, which contain water. Then, after that, I will find, I will put in the, cylind the plasticine into the container to find the volume of the plasticine and compare it with my calculation to see whether my calculation is correct or not. Therefore, before adding the plasticine, the initial volume of the water displacement method is 1620 cm3. After adding the plasticine, it has a, it has a volume of 1701 cm3, which is, which means this plasticine had a volume of 81 cm cube. As for my calculation, is 67.92 cm cube. And compared to it, it has a difference of 13 cm cube. The reason why there is different maybe is because of the shape of my cylinder are not round enough, or the shape of my sphere and ellipsoid is not spherical shape or ellipsoid shape, not ellipsoid enough or not round enough to set as sphere. Maybe there's some error in my building it, therefore there's the difference between the volume that I find for calculation and water displacement method. Thank you for spending your time listening to my presentation. Thank you.